Next we have a, a record by Lol Coxhill, who many years ago, when I had a record label of my own called Dandelion Records, recorded a double LP for us. And curiously enough, it was almost the only, certainly the only LP which we issued, which covered its own cost. In fact, it even made a small profit, mainly because for some unaccountable reason, it was, I say, immensely popular. I mean, it was popular in certain sections of the United States of America, and I'm very grateful to them for that. Uh, Lol Coxhill's most recent venture, though, which was recorded in Barcelona, and is therefore available only on a Spanish label. It gets very complex, this. It's a little work called Disco Dementia. <laughs> I thought that Eggy Lay, being a saxophonist himself, would appreciate that, but he seems to have misgivings. That's Lol Coxhill, an old chum of mine, and uh, Disco Dementia, a Spanish single from him. You're listening to John Peel's music on BFBS, and that curious noise in the background was my boots squeaking together, in case you heard it. Can you hear that? No, perhaps not. Uh, anyway, having played you a record that's made in Spain, here's a record that's made nothing Sweden by a band called Twice a Man, and uh, Twice a Man, which is all one word, rather confusingly, have an LP which is available through Rough Trade in this country and doubtless through other outlets in other parts of the world, said he as imprecisely as was humanly possible. From the LP, this is called Move. 